Honey friends, Steve DePoe here for the Rose Realty Team with this week's Real Estate Vlog. I'm going to talk about something a little bit different this week. I'm kind of tired of the, the loan forbearance and the COVID-19 and all that. I'm kind of up the air at that, right? So this week we're going to talk about um, something near and dear to our heart, the, the ongoing raging debate of selling your house on your own versus using a real estate agent. Um, I have some really strong opinions about that, uh, as you can as you can imagine. So let's kind of let's kind of let's kind of hash it out. So most for sale my owner um, sellers um, decide to sell the house on their own to avoid paying the commission. Well, here's the truth, right? So if 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 I'm a if I'm a buyer's agent and I bring my buyers to you, um, I'm going to ask you to pay me a commission anyway. Now don't be shocked. All 40,000 agents in the Metroplex are going to do the exact same thing. That's nothing unique to me um, because I'm working, with an, I'm working with clients and I'm going to say, hey, look, you know, seller, um, you want to sell your house? You're thinking you're going to sell it on your own. I've got these clients. Let's do a deal. Okay. Now, I'm going to say we're going to sign it. We're going to sign an agreement. And I'm going to say I'm going to provide you with, do the, I'm going to provide you with these clients, uh, these exact client. And if they, if they end up buying the house, you're going to pay me a commission, right? You're going to be happy because you sell your house. I'm going to be happy because I say that's why I make clients. That's the way it's going to work. So you don't avoid paying the commission totally. You know, again, you, you, you avoid maybe half of it. Um, but, the, but, but the truth of the matter is that you're going to pay at least half the commission because I'm going to, I'm going to be giving you, I'm going to be bringing my, you're going to bring in the client or the buyer to you. Um, now, 36%, now, the National Association of Realtors tells us that 36% of all buyers uh, feel that they can save time, and Zillow actually supports these, uh, some of these numbers, um, when, when in fact, we'll get, to the, we'll get to this in a couple of minutes, they don't actually, they don't actually sell time, they save time, they've got to do all the work on, the, on their own, all the paperwork, there's a stack of paperwork like this, all legal documents that you're going to have to go through, you're going to have to fill out, you're going to have to understand, et cetera, et cetera you don't really save any time. As a matter of fact, uh, statistics have proven that it takes longer to sell your house on your own. Again, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so you don't really, you don't save time. It, it actually takes you, it takes you longer. Um, for sale by owner or FISBO listings actually attract fewer uh, uh, potential buyers than if you use a real estate agent. Why? Well, so you're limited basically to what the marketing that you want to do and to most people put, put it on Zillow right? Well, that's it. If you, you know, you list like, for example, with the Rose Realty team within 24 hours, there's going to be at least half a million people throughout the country who are going to know that your house is for sale. Now, not, you're not going to, I'm not going to kid you, not all half a million people are interested in your house, but we let, we, because of our reach and because of our marketing, because of the connections that we have, at least half a million people in the country are going to know that your house is for sale, you know? So, it, it's it's we have we have a long we have a longer reach I guess you could say than your average person who's going to try to sell the house on their own. Um, interesting factoid is sixty six percent of all people that try to sell the house on their own eventually come back to a, to a licensed real estate agent. So what does that tell you? They've tried to do it. They've tried to sell it on their own. They've said you know the heck with this. I'm going to go to a professional. They come back to they come back to they come back to a real estate agent, a licensed real estate agent, and they help them sell their house for them. It's it's the it's, it's the data man. It's the data baby. Um, now, of all the houses um, in um, the last couple of years that have been sold, only 11 percent have been sold by the owner themselves. That's usually catching lightning in a bottle, right? You know somebody who knows somebody that likes your house and they want to buy it. Your neighbor or the guy across the street or down the block says, hey, this would be perfect for my, my brother, my sister-in-law, whatever. Um, you know somebody from out of town who saw your house once who said if you were thinking about selling, those kinds of things. You kind of catch lightning in a bottle. It happens, sure. I'm not going you know, to lie to you. It happens. But the truth of the matter is that only about 11% or let's flip it around the other way, 89% of all houses in the U.S. that are sold are actually sold through real estate agents. Interesting. So the three major things, the three major issues that for sale by owner uh, properties have or find difficult is pricing the house right. Now, because the, because the guy down the block or across the street or around the corner has the exact same model as you, doesn't mean you see we, we price the house at the same, at the, at the same, uh, the, the same price. Lo location, um, uh, direction of the house, 
extra bathroom, a few extra square feet. We have formulas and we have data that supports that, that if you have an extra, extra half bath, it's worth so much X, X number of dollars more, et cetera. We've got the stats and all the information to back all that up so we can price your house correctly to sell and to get multiple offers. Um, the paperwork, like I said, there's like this much paperwork you have to go through, right, in order to sell your house. We're experts in all of that. So we, number one, keep you out of trouble. Number two, keep us out of trouble. And number, uh, number three, make sure we get the closing. The important thing is to get the closing. Hey, I can bring you a thousand, a thousand, uh, thousand buyers, but if we can't get the closing on any of them, that's not going to matter. Another factoid that I, I guess I left out of this slide deck is that something like 75% of all for sale by owner transactions never make it to closing. That's the important thing is to get you to closing so you can move on with your life. Maybe you're upsizing, downsizing, relocating, moving out of state, what have you, going off the grid. Um, you know, the important thing is to get the closing and that's what we, uh, a lot of for sale by owners have a difficult time um, uh, uh, in doing. Um, and then selling within your plan time frame. That's another issue. I mean, so, you, so you're moving for a reason. You're moving out of state because you got another job and you've got to be there, you know, uh, all October 1st and you got to sell your house before then. Um, you're building someplace else across town or across the Metroplex and, you, and you, you're going to close on a specific date. You got to be out of this house because you don't want to carry two mortgages. You want to be out of the house on a specific time. We can help you close on time. Now, on average, people that try to sell the house on their own uh, take 19 days longer than by using, a, by using a licensed real estate agent. 19 days, you figure, is not that big a deal. You know, the average days on market right now of, of, of listed houses with real estate agents, the average days on market, it's like 42 days, right? So 19 days is almost half of that. So you almost increase your, your likelihood of being on the market well, by, 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 by 50%. So something to think about, right? Um, a real estate agent's reach is a, lot for, is a lot longer than a person trying to sell their house on their own. So take the, take the Rose Realty team and working with Keller Williams as an example. Within 24 hours of you signing an agreement for us to sell your home, you, there's going to be at least 500,000 people in the country that are going to know your houses for sale. We have access to like 350 websites. We have access to 40,000 agents throughout the country. Now here's something interesting, right? So we, so in the Metroplex here, we get what? We get somewhere between, between um, um, a quarter and half a million people move into the Metroplex every single year. They're coming from someplace. They're coming from New York, Chicago, Atlanta, um, Florida. They're coming from, from California. <clears throat> they're coming from California. They come from other places in the country, Arizona, um, Louisiana. And we can, re we can reach out to all of those places. And in fact, we've targeted those places in our advertising and said, hey, you want to come to Texas? Here you go, bam, we got this house. Um, so, so we uh, reach is much longer than your average person who wants to try to sell their house. It's not just being on the multiple listing service. It's the reach that we have, the, the information that we have, the data that we have to know where to look to get to somebody to be interested in your house. And we've also done virtual sales where before, before the COVID-19 thing all kind of hit, um, we had four houses going to contract this year where the, where the buyer um, never stepped foot on, never stepped foot in the house. We did video, we did walkthroughs, we did skypes, we did um, we did um, uh, watch parties. We use this little this little puppy right here. This is a DJI Osmo camera with a three way gimbal that allows us to take video of your house. We took video of, of I remember we work I worked with one client out of North Carolina. We took uh, I took video of three different houses, sent them the sent them the information. They like they initially liked house number one. After the video, they decided, nope, that's not the house for us. We want house number two, and we closed on it. I mean, so it, it happens, and we and we do everything we can to satisfy our to satisfy our customers both on the sale and the and, and the purchase side. Um, right now, sales uh, sales of homes using a real a licensed real estate agent. 
Um, well, that's important, license. A lot of people don't realize the licensing procedure, the bonding, the fingerprinting, the background checks, the testing, the uh, education that we have to go through. It's not like we wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to be a real estate agent. Let me put my real estate agent hat on. Nope, it's, it's a process. It's a, it's, a, it's a profession that we've chosen and we, 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 choose, to do, we choose to do it well for our clients. Um, anyway, um, you, uh, sales, of, sales and purchases of houses using uh, licensed real estate agents right now are at an all-time high. On the flip side, the, the, um, the, the uh, percentage of um, the number of houses being sold by individuals or by owners is at an all-time low. The peak was in 2004. And I kind of did some research now and kind of figured that's when the internet really became the internet. Okay. Now the internet became like real popular and like uh, kind of, kind of started, um, uh, started kind of growing in 96, 97, 98, 99. Right. And by 2004, it was the tech boom and it was the internet. They were selling everything on the internet. Um, and so, um, 2004 was, was, was that peak time, and that's why we feel that probably in 2004 was the peak time for sale by owners because it was this, the, kind of this novelty thing, right? Um, that's, kind of, that's kind of changed a little bit, and having actually flesh and blood and people with boots on the ground is actually, is actually the way to go today. So in summary, hey, look, if you want to avoid the hassle of the pictures, the video, the people walking through the house, um, I, I hate to say with the people who are wearing masks, you know, you know, those kinds of things. The constant asking questions, the people coming into your house at all times of the day and night, you want to avoid that hassle, it's a real estate agent you're looking for. You want to net more money even while paying commissions? Hey, it's, and it's not, remember, it's not how much you sell your house for, it's the net proceeds that you get out of the sale of that house, which is the important thing. Give me a call, we can talk about that at some time. Selling your house within your time frame. If that's important, if a time frame is important to you, the real estate agent is, is really the way to go. And attracting the right buyers. Now, what do I mean by right buyers? I mean by people that are qualified who to, to buy your house, who have the cash, who can qualify for the mortgage, who's trying, not trying to buy a $650,000 house and they're first time home buyers. That's not what I'm talking about here, baby. We're talking about people who are qualified to buy your house today when they put the offer in. That's what we're all about, making sure that we get to, get to close as quickly as possible. So, hey, what, there's a smart answer. There's two smart answers here. The first smart answer is, number one, hey, use a, use a licensed real estate agent. Smart answer number two, call the Rose Realty team. We'll get your house sold for you. Next week, we're going to talk about the 4.5 wants and needs of homeowners post-COVID. We're back with the COVID, post-COVID. This is Steve DePoe for the Rose Realty team. Hope you're having fun. I'm going to bounce.